up in that green tea. Fuck is they talking about? I took another ride. I got the bulls in the middle of my back. I got the in the back. I'm a fucker drunk. You know what it is, man. It's 3 a.m. on Witty. You'll be back in the building, your boy, back on the block with it, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. And what episode we on, man? 3 a.m. on Whittier, man. Episode 19. Yes, man. We almost there, y'all. We almost there, man. Episode 20, man. We going up, man. 20th and Whittier, man. You know what I'm saying? Going back, man. But, uh, yeah, man. We in here, man. Episode 19, man. We went up last week, man. I appreciate everybody out there, man. You know, tapping in with the support. You know what I'm saying? You know, first thing we want to do, though, man, like, comment, and and subscribe if you ain't already did it. Yeah, man. Hit that bell, man. Daily content, man. We got them clips up, man. So y'all know what it is, man. We appreciate all the subs. We see them going up daily, man. So we appreciate that. But 3 a.m. on Whittier, man. Put the one at the end if you want to catch us on Instagram for them daily clips. You did. And everybody out there, you know what I'm saying, Uh, streaming episodes on, you know, Spotify, you know, uh, uh, Apple Music, you know, uh, what else, man? Everywhere, Deezer, Man, wherever Amazon, you get a podcast, you know, man, put us in there, man. I appreciate all y'all, too, man. I'm seeing y'all out there, man, tapping in, man, you know. You know, if you spend an hour with us, man, an hour and whatever we uh, we on here for, man, uh, you know, that's more than love right there, man. So I definitely appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, you man, know? run it up, man. We're going to keep running it up for y'all, yeah. man. We're going to keep bringing it as long as y'all keep rocking with us, man. But, uh, but yeah, uh, boy. You know, how was your week, though, man? And I've been chilling, man. Another hot-ass weekend out here, man. But you know what, man? I got I got out, man. Me and uh, the moms, we got out. We rolled around, you know what I'm saying? Got some good eats, man. You know what I mean? Right. So really, man, just chilling, man. Trying to get back to the music. As my Memphis niggas say, the music. You know what I mean? Facts, facts. But yeah, bro, it's just been working, bro. Getting stuff, getting stuff done, bro. Trying to get this potty going, you know what I mean? So... Yeah. What's up with you, man? What what what's your what's your weekend look like? Oh, what it, what is well, gonna look week, like? Man, uh, shit, man. I was out, man. You know, just you know, working, man. But um, I had jumped out and hooped a little bit over, you know, over, or through the week, man. I would say, man. Yeah. Got a little run, a couple runs in. I would say, man. You know, uh, through the week, man. Uh, got up with some dudes, man. I've been meaning to, you know, what I'm saying. Get some work in on, cause they ain't believe a nigga was like that. Man, yeah, they you know say you saying? got them Kenny at them, them Kenny Smith yeah, knees. They ain't think, you know what I'm saying? They ain't thinking nigga was like that, man. They, I'm telling them niggas like, yo, bro, man, like I do this, you know what I'm saying? Music, you know, podcast and all this shit. But hey, man, I'm, I'm naturally an athlete, man. I ain't just ain't. I ain't yeah, liking these man. niggas, man. Like, like you know, I know you, you know what I'm saying? You was like a lunchtime. Hoop. Nah, don't play so, with me, you know, man. Put some respect yeah. on my name. I had buckets. You was a back-to-the-basket type player. I mean, you know if man? I was, bro, I did what they needed to be done, though. Real you know Lady what I'm Cookish. You know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> you know, nah, nah. nah. Lady Cook was a beast. Nah. Hey, he was a beast, man. He, he was just on Cam them Pie, too. Yeah. Shout out Lady Cook. Did he, didn't he come up there? Yeah, he came yeah, up Yeah, shout out Lady Cook. He was like up there with LeBron back in the day, man. But yeah, man, I had to show him, you know, what I had, though, man. You know, my man, like I said, man, he used to be hooping in his jeans at lunchtime and shit, man, sweating. Man, you know, hard fouls. Hard boy. fouls, man. You know, you don't know about hey, that. Hey, man. man hey, they know my work out there, bro. I got work yeah, in this man. Street, um, so outside that, man, I was just, you know, having, you know, tying up a couple loose ends with business, man. You know, this 3 a.m. on Whittier shit, man. Uh, Got a lot of things, man, you know what I'm saying, in fruition right now that, you know, definitely been, you know, looking forward to jumping into, so. Yeah, man. Uh, week was filled up with that, man, but you know, it was all, all you know, in all a great week, though, man, I would say, man. Yeah, buddy. But, um, you know, there was a lot of things that was going on out there, man, this week, as y'all know, man. Um, and as you know, we here to, you know, give y'all, you know. The, you know, the foolishness, man. You know, got to get y'all a little foolishness out there, man, because all, that's all it's been lately, man. Like, a little bit of foolishness, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, first, first thing I want to jump into, man, um, what you got out there, man? Uh, so we're going to get right into it, man. Big Silky Hana. Yeah, 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 bro. I guess the um, the OnlyFans video leaked to her uh, pen. Yeah, yeah, you know what it was I mean? a rough week for her. Man. Yeah, it was rough, man. But, hey, I will give it to her. She taking it on the chin because she was just, man, it sounded crazy as hell. Yeah. She was like, I like to piss on myself. I'm like, huh? Yeah, I, I was, when I seen the shit with the whole, you know, like, I seen the video. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but it wasn't nothing that, like, really, like, just, like, I mean, obviously with the piss was, you know, it was, that that was, like, a little pissy right there. I ain't gonna lie. Bless you, man. But <clears throat> it, it, it wasn't even, like, the whole, 
it wasn't even like the whole thing about her, you know what I'm saying, putting the, you know, the, the I guess the tape out, man, or putting that, you know, type of, you know, content out because she been doing this she shit. She been doing it. It like, was expected, so it wasn't nothing that I was like, oh, Suki did what? Nah. Yeah. That- for you new people out there that, you know, didn't know, like, Suki got, man, for Suki, <laughs> Suki on Pornhub out here, bro. Like, yeah, man. Like, like, if you don't know, man, like, she gonna, she gonna stand on what she did, you know what I'm saying, you know. Any way y'all feel about it, I don't think she really give no damn fuck. Nah, but, she don't get not two fucks, bro. But it's it's kind of like it's drowning out that uh, YK Osiris shit. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of <laughs> like he coming out like I told yeah. y'all, motherfuckers. Even though I was wrong, but yeah. <laughs> now I mean, y'all see. You know, what I'm now the it's more or less now the world is seeing because me, like we said, we knew Sukiana before she got right. big and shit. So you know what I'm saying? Like the, it came back up with her twerking on a little boy. Yeah, now that one was wild. That's wild crazy, right though. There. That, that was kind of wild. wild. The, the, the twerking on the little boy and shit, I was like, yeah, the, that's you know. crazy. I, but I mean, I seen some chicks just like like two days ago, man. They was had they had a monkey in the club. They was twerking on a monkey. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's more wild than shit. I mean, I ain't what no twerking yeah. on the kid is. That's the wild. I thing. mean, I'm just saying though, was he a kid monkey nah, or he was a grown nah, monkey? Nah, I don't even know, man. Did he have a pamper on? He was, he nah, was, it's worse. She was twerking. He had a, a rollie on. He had like a bust down on, bro. Nah, was bro. This was a kid. No, nah, I said that's man. worse, than, bro. Yeah, that's or worse, yeah. man. So, and that was like two years ago. That that was mad long time ago. Yeah. So I, I feel like what I was getting to is, man, like she got a little clout chasing at her too. You know what I'm saying? Because that was for clout. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That was to you know get us in the media. I'm talking about back then. That was for us to get us in the media to you know, hey, who's this girl twerking on a? On a, you know what I'm saying? On this on this kid. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Get her get her name up there. So That was a that was a play. You know what I mean? I feel Definitely like, a play. Yeah. I feel like Suki gotta be, you know, she gotta take the good with the bad because that's what type of artist and that's what you know how you got in the game. And that's the type of niggas and shit you gonna bring around. You know what I mean? Right, right. Cause I mean you can't play a wholesome and shit or say I feel I couldn't believe she said she felt like she was what she say? She felt like she was a... Uh, yeah, she was going in. Yeah. Like, her, like, real. And now all this shit dropping now. Yeah. All of it. I mean, people really been knew that, like, a lot of this shit was, like, you know, going on, though. Like, as far as, like, with the porn and how she was so much, of like, aggressive. Like, ain't that ain't nothing new. Yeah. Like, the people that didn't know, I guess, is just these new these new followers or something like that. I knew I knew her when it was Suki with the good coochie. Yeah. She don't even really go by that no more, but I knew her then. You know what I mean? Y'all, and I'm going to tell y'all ladies this, man. And some of y'all niggas, too, I see out here, man. Hey, man, y'all got to play that shit at a, at, a, at a nice volume, bro. Not too loud, bro, when y'all riding around playing that motherfucking uh, <laughs> the, the, the eating ass song and all that, man. Because, like, I'm at Walmart, man. I'm pulling out the, you know what I'm saying, Walmart and shit, man. And I hear the shit, but I don't know where it's coming from, man. Man, girl pull up on the side of me, man, and uh, Just pull it up. Got that shit blasting, bro. He's my Cheetos. I seen lucky. I seen older people looking and shit like, what the fuck is going on, bro? The nigga like, was cringing like, oh, I was shit. cringing. I was like, the fuck, like, damn. Man, I don't seen chicks play that with their baby in the car, bro. I don't heard them playing pound time with the kids in the car. And I and I yeah, that's kind of wild. I that's mean, but wild. they do it though. But I, I mean, even when I used to listen to like the early Pac Man shit, BFB, like I'm, I'm talking about BFB Pac Man. It's cringy. It's I, I, used, cringy. I, used to, I used to turn that shit down a little because I'd be like, yeah, man, Pac Man be saying some like, shit. Picture your, too wild. picture your like, daughter go to school and she say my booty hole brown. Yeah, man. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> that's some wild shit. <laughs> For real talk, that's some wild. Picture your shit, daughter bro. or your, your son. You like CPS. I said, kids just pick Take up. Your kids, kids pick up whatever you know. what I'm saying they hear. So picture you know your kids, your son or your daughter going to. I be eating, you know, all this type of yeah. shit at school because they just gonna repeat it. You know what I'm saying? They just gonna repeat it. They don't know what it means. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But you know, but that's so. some crazy shit to think of. But that's, I mean, like you say, you gotta live with that when you had kids, OnlyFans, all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And from her going, she cool with it. So yeah, I that's mean, the day and age we live in, man. It's sad but true. You know what I mean, yeah, she, she said she had to feed her family, so you know. Now I ain't knocking her for that, man, but. It's like you at a. It's at a point like, what's next? That's how I be looking. Like, what's next, dog? Like, cause you know it's all. It's all for clout. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. We ain't gonna be seeing no uh, Sukiyana do no records with no Lauren Hill or nothing like that. So don't worry about. Well, that, they man. say but, bad media is good media. Right. So yeah, any press is good press. They say, I guess, man. But um, something else I just want to jump into, man. A little bit more serious, man. Um, I seen Dirt. You know what I'm saying? Was hospitalized, man. 
Uh, you know, first thing, prayers out the dirt, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had, the dirt, yo, man. Yeah. I had seen that, man. And then when you when you see somebody, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, really, man, like, any age, man, you can be 40, 45 is young, 50 is young. So, but if you see somebody 30 years old, man, you know, and they they, they, they admitted to a hospital and stuff, first thing you, like, damn, man. Yeah, you man. know, you got to take, you know. Exhausted, man. Exhausted, bro. Just too much. Sometimes... As artists, man, especially when you get to that high of a stage of an artist, bro, sometimes you got to kind of dial shit back because, right. you know, your PR team, man, the niggas I had you running every fucking day, dog. Yeah. Picture all the press you got to do, all this, then the homies with them, family, yeah. still got to make music. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with NBA young boy crazy ass. Then he was at the Moss the other day. It's like he yeah. trying to do it, but, you know, niggas, niggas just... Sometimes you got to take that time away, though, and just really just, you know, you know, do your own thing, man, and take that, you know, take that time to let your body, you know what I'm saying, get that, you know, rest on it, man. Because, you know, it, it, it's, it's, you know. Your body going to shut down after a yeah. while. Yeah. It don't matter you know how old you is. Or, it don't matter if you're 15, 20, your body yeah. going to shut down. That's why when you was kids at the football field going hard, yeah. them niggas kept water. For real. Kept it. Because you, you will pass the fuck out. Man, speaking of that, like. Yeah, man. I think you was at the spot or at the, at the house that day, man. Like I, I been there, man. Like I'm, I'm in two a days. No, we was in like three a days and shit, man. Getting ready to go to college and shit, man. This is like my last year. Yeah, I'm gonna go to college and shit. So, nigga, I come home for my little three days and shit, man. And fucked around him and got caught in my car. I ain't passed out, but I was locked in my car. My body locked up. Body locked up, I, like sit down, nigga. Yeah, man, I could, I couldn't even get out the car, bro. Like my body was just so fucking like, like, like it felt like damn near shit was just gonna rip apart. You know Just what I'm saying? Be. And picture him, man, going on on and off the plane, yeah, different city, every other every other date, different city, shows, yeah. performing. That should have worked, you know. It's <laughs> all on you, man. Like damn, bro. Like and and I can just imagine, man. No joke, man. Derky up in the hospital with them goddamn eyes, boy. Cause you know that nigga, <laughs> that nigga on alert. That yeah, nigga looking around. Up, nigga. Hey, fuck it. But uh, you know, you know, I heard, I heard he, you know, what I'm saying, doing a lot better out there. So you know, definitely shout out to Derky. Yeah, they up. probably gave him some steroids, got him up out of that mug. Yeah, Pumped them up, man. But get back, get back out here, uh, dirt. Just slow it down, cuz. Yeah, man. Slow, slow it, it down. down. Pick up that bag, but slow it down, man. But uh, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, it was a real, real, you know, it was a real spooky week out here, man. It was a lot of shit that was going on, and um, first thing I seen that I definitely wanted to just, you know, I, that shit just made me smile when I seen it. Actually, man, the Kevin Hart. Uh, you know, getting, you know what I'm saying, the, the uh, comic view, bro. Like, I guess he's going to be the one that's, you know, running, like, you know, with the new Tyler Perry structure of uh, BET. Okay. They okay. bring a comic view back, and I guess Kevin Hart is, like, the executive producer of it, you know, the, the brains. It might be movie. fire, man. It's a lot of... And the thing I used to like about comic view is, like, all these comics you see today, I'm low-key, I'm not going to lie, I was breeded from comic view. Right. You've seen all these from the Mike Epps set to entertainers, Bernie Mac... Martin Lawrence, yeah, everybody came through Comic View, and it's, and it's good to bring it back because there's a lot of um, new comics out here that a lot of people don't know about, and yeah. Comic View is basically giving that exposure. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. these people after they come on here and they blow, you might see them in your next movie, bro. Because I mean, but it's it's a good look for BET. It's definitely that a big look. For Tyler Perry people. bringing these shows. <laughs> I heard, I heard. I ain't gonna say it. But they bringing BET Uncut back next year. Yeah, now you doing too damn. Much. Yeah, man. Do we need to be? Do we need? Yes, to be man. We got. Yeah, we do, man. We That's do, like, man. you know what I mean? We do. Yeah, we need that BET from like one to three. Yeah, we do, man. We need that, dog. I think, man. I think the the uh, the comic view shit is a big, you know, step right there because I feel like we have kind of like lost television anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like it's really like do because a lot of people don't even watch television, like far as like TV shows and shit like that. And I think that would be a big thing to like bring like some actual yeah. scripted. Well, shout out to the homie Nick shows. Cannon though, because wilding out like on 20 seasons, bro. So yeah. he's been trying to keep that. You know, I was gonna say that, man. Open. But that's like one out of you know, you know, that's the only one. You know, what I'm <laughs> one out of none. So I think this is gonna be real big. And then at the same time, that's um, what's it called, man? Uh, how they do that improv, improv yeah, yeah. Improv comedy. I, I th like I think we missing like the whole you know stand up comedy man. Also I think we missing a lot of you know with the with the with the scripted shows. Yeah. So 
I mean, it's a lane for both of them, but Comic View is definitely a good look for BET yeah, coming off the BET Awards. So shout out BET, man, um, because like I say, that's 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 got to be a that's a staple. You know what I'm saying? I feel like as a kid, of me coming up, that's that was like a staple yeah. of everybody' childhood from Rap City to uh, Comic View to the nigga that woke you up at three in the morning. God! <laughs> You know what I mean? But the that uncut shit, staple, that, that really got me tripping, though, because if they bring uncut back, though, I I'm think it's a lay. Tell you, man, that's how I learned the legendary song, White Girls, man. Oh, yeah. Man. White girl. <laughs> hey, he was in the snow and everything, yo. but yeah, bro, classics. Remember Nelly? Yeah. With the, the swipe? Drill. Tip drill, tip drill. Uh, what's the, what's like, come on, let's name off some favorites, man. Man, what T, what, what T, I had the other song on there? T.I. Did he have a video no, for the sexy, no, Luda had it. gorgeous, beauty? Nah, he had, he had one, one on cut. Nah, I don't remember that. You don't remember that? Nah, I remember. Nah, so I think like nah, that was like one of the main songs when I used to go to this uh, strip club, though. Like, that's where <laughs> I learned the motherfucker at in the strip club. <laughs> you like, learned the song at the strip club? I learned in the strip club, bro. How old um, was you, man? Shit, wasn't supposed to be there, man. God Probably about 16, shit. man. But, um, Name Tip some. Drill. No, no. Was it Tip we Drill? We named Tip Drill. No, what's the one that Luda had then? Oh, oh, peep pop, peep pop, yeah, yeah, you know about that peep, that one, yeah, that's what I would, that, that's yeah, what I meant to say. We had some yeah, joints, man. It's a lot of ones, man. That thing smelled like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's the <laughs> other ones? Uh, that thing smelled like, hey man, I used to be up late, bro. Only, man. only BT uncut when you hear these songs. Who bro. else, man? I know it's the ones out there, bro. Um. It's some more out What's there, the Busy man. Bowl song that used to be oh, on there? Ain't nothing like money in ain't a Ziploc bag. Ain't nothing like money in a Ziploc bag. Uh, yeah, that shit uh, was comedy, bro. That was man, comedy. Man, dog, they got to bring that back. Because you know niggas that make videos just to put it on Uncut. Like, yeah, I'm about yeah. to get some strippers. I'm about to thug. We about to get this bitch And up. I think, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, you have something like that you can actually, like... And they already doing a lot of shit like this anyway. So I'm like... Hey, bring it back, man. Like, man, I ain't, yeah. I, it's definitely comic view. I'm glad that's coming back, man. Bruce, Bruce, that's like probably my favorite off of there. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Bruce, Bruce was the nigga, bro. And, and low key, what's, what's the, uh, the the pops from Friday? Pops from Friday? Uh, The Giants? second one, next Friday. Oh, Don D.C. Don Curry. Don D.C. Yeah. Curry. A lot of yeah. people, that's he what I'm dope. saying. Uh, a lot of people, Lou Nell. Lunell, you know I mean? she was on there? <laughs> yes, Lunell been on there before. What's the other yeah. older one with the uh, all white hair? She used to always Coco. be the cook. No, okay, that's old girl. I remember she was yeah, on TV, it's a, a TV show or something. Yeah, there's a lot of oh, uh, comics don't came up through there. Kevin Shout Hart. Shout out to Comic View, man. That's a staple, <laughs> yeah. man. That's definitely a staple. No, Kevin Hart ain't never been on Comic View, man. I think, have you been on there? Nah, he been on... Um, oh, this was after him, yeah. They might have yeah. went off the air. And most of all, I ain't even name him, man. Shout out my boy Ricky Smiley from Comic View. Yeah, he was definitely on there. Oh, he, was he hosted it. That. Yeah, he took it you know over for a second, man. Set the entertainer, all that. But yeah. shout out BET, just and, and just don't don't. T I feel the movement, Tyler Perry, but don't put every Tyler Perry show on BET. Yeah, he already yeah. <laughs> don't do that, bro. assisted living on there. Yeah. The one with Brown on there. Uh, then it's another. I'm like, yo, bro. I feel you got the yeah. studio, but we can't make it at all, Tyler Perry. Shout out. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to see. Uh, and start putting 30. the Wayne brothers back on there, man. Y'all don't yeah, play. It, definitely man. throw that on there, man. Yeah. Throw some, new, throw some oldies on there, man. Throw yeah. some. Uh, Bring back Moesha, or something, man. Yeah, some ain't seen in a minute. Man. Yeah, man. I can go. Uh, uh, we can even go back. We bring back Steve Harvey show. Yeah, man. It's, I think that shit on Tubi or something like that, man. Just a couple seasons, but BT need to bring that back, man. A lot of people don't even know about it, man. Yeah. They don't know about Santana, man. Don't Shout don't out know. to him, though, man. Rest in peace, Santana. Marlon Santana. Rest in peace, man. Um, I wanted to jump into something else though, real quick, man. Um, did you see Le'Veon Bell, bro, man? Uh, <laughs> just, uh, just go ahead, and just slander my nigga, uh, Stunnerful Vegas and, and Moneybag Yo. Yeah, I heard like, he had, uh, he had got some trash. <laughs> he just like, yo, he waited. I'm like, damn, nigga, you must have just like that nigga must have been just sitting in the crib, bro, just listening to it and was like, yo, these niggas sold me some bullshit, but, bro. But like, I, I also thought about. What if he had to own some bullshit? And you know how they be like, you know, this Le'Veon Bell, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to this nigga this bullshit because this is some bullshit. Cause yeah, I don't know. He, I don't know how it is with that music, man. I... And I'm like, I think I heard, I ain't, well, I ain't going to say, I'm, I ain't going to cap y'all. I ain't never heard Le, uh, Le'Veon. Look, uh, you know. 
I was listening Rap. to Antonio Brown put that shit on. Yeah, that shit I, was kind of dope. Though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that shit. And a little dope. dance, too. Yeah, yeah. But Le'Veon. I forgot you know what? I'm not even gonna judge you because I've never. I heard one song, so I'm not gonna even say it. From but who? Le'Veon. He had one song I just ran across like Did on Twitter like or something. No, I didn't like it. Right, <laughs> but, but it was one song, so I hate the. Judge I ain't gonna shit on him, man. But to to like, I mean, he like, but I can't, I can't be. Yeah, I definitely can't shit him because like niggas do that, bro. Some niggas will give you a trash verse. Now I, I ain't saying that they might have, you know, they. I don't think they just was like, I'm gonna give you a trash. Well, they might have just been like, I ain't gonna take no time. But what if the shit. beat's so bad, the song's so bad, you just? I don't like, think the beat is the problem, though. I ain't heard it, but I don't think the beat would be the problem, though. I think them niggas probably were just like, yo, man, we don't believe you really a rapper. You know what I'm saying? I think the niggas just gave yeah. him a pre-made 16. Might not even been pre-made. They're just like, yo, I ain't going to put it all in there, this, man. Like, it ain't, it ain't coming out. A nigga around so, A would be. Yeah. Dirty nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, <laughs> I done been in the studio with niggas and be like, yo, this ain't for you, But bro. you know what? For a nigga you, that's that's not a known rapper, Le'Veon Bill, for that nigga that say your shit garbage, that shit would have kind of got under my stand. Like, because I'd have been like, who, you nigga? Get the fuck out of well, here, you know nigga. Money bag hard, though. So that's why like money bag one of the nicest yeah. in the game right now. Money bag hard. So if you just say he gave, I mean, but he said he gave him a trash verse. But it's like, you know, you want to get a verse from Jeezy or something back in like 06 or 07, whatever, man. Or you going to get a verse from, uh, 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 just say you got a verse from Kendrick or something like that. And, you know, in 2000, I'm talking about the height of their shit, like, you know, 2010 to 2011. And the nigga tell you that, you know, hey, man, your shit whack. It's kind of crazy <laughs> right there. Now, still ain't that the height of his shit right now, but still, like, nigga, he might, but hey, he said like two years ago, so this was right the height of uh, Stunning shit. Yeah, Stunning was fire. You know? Stunning for Vegas was, well, yeah, he was fire a couple years ago. He probably came on there with that Stunning for Vegas flow, you know? Come here! Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And nigga ain't like that. He ain't feeling it, bro, man. But it still came from Le'Veon Bell. Like, like nigga. Like, what you do, nigga? Let me I, hear your verse. I remember A B said that uh I think Meek was like, yeah, he's like he had, had a verse from Meek or something like that. And the nigga Meek and the one it was like Meek and like one of the Migos. Oh yeah. And he's like them niggas are like they don't want him to drop it. Yeah. He's like, I paid for this shit though. And he's like, they're like, nah, man, they won't sign off on the motherfucking the nigga dropping the shit. That crazy the nigga pay for this shit and you want <laughs> and the nigga say, nah, I can't clear it to drop. That shit terrible. <laughs> hey, we gonna go another way, dog. Right, we just gonna go another way. And bro, he kept man. the bread. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're gonna return it, man. Like Man, I don't um, think me will get that nigga shit. Bam, back. Bam Man Kevo, he, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, segment a little bit. I remember he was like, you know, or like a month ago or something, he had said something about um he had a verse from Gunner before he... But he didn't say it was bad, though. Yeah, I think Gunner... He just said that nigga snitch, I can't have it. Yeah, you Gunner want his like bread back, though. I mean, but nigga, like, you not getting your bread. I mean, I know me, how I am, nigga. Once that bread come out your hands, bro, that shit is gone, nigga. Ain't no... That shit is gone, bro. Like, yeah. Ain't no receipts in this shit, You getting a refund this, bro. I mean, maybe we might get a receipt in this, bro, but you ain't getting it back. I chalk that shit up to the game, nigga. Yeah, they ain't getting it back. Once my vocal go on the track, that bread's done, yeah. nigga. Once my artist got to put his work in and lay that down, and once I take my 15, 20 or whatever, it's done. You take your 7% and get the fuck on, nigga. <laughs> That's what take my 15, 20. <laughs> nigga said done. 15, 20. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, shout out to Le'Veon, man. Do not let these niggas hold man, you down. Man, no, no. We not shouting out Le'Veon, bro. Le'Veon, stop it, bro. Until you Amen. get a hot song or anything that's worth listening to, you cannot tell people they shit is whack, bro, unless you're going to play the song. And I don't think you want to play the song because he's on yeah, that. You got to play the song if you're going to say that. So if you're going to say that, stand on it and play the record and let the let the world decide. Because I want to hear your verse, too. I want to hear that your verse, too. hot gobble. Can't just say that, man. But shout out to, man, everybody involved, all parties involved, man. <laughs> we just say shout that. Shout out Money Bad, man. man. Shout out Stun Up Vegas, man. Yeah, man. Uh, it's, you know, it's summertime right now, man. You know, I said this last week, man. We right now, man, trying to rebuild our squads right now. Um, if you in it, you know, if you an NBA fan like I am, you an NFL fan like I am, but right now it's summer league. So, like, yeah. what the fuck is going on, bro, man? First thing I want to say is, man, we got one. If you know we talking about Detroit, man, 
We got Asar. I wasn't how you say his name. Asar Thompson. Asar, Asar. A U A U S I R. Yeah. Or A U S E R. We got the twin. But the boy be balling. We got the twin that's out here balling, nigga. That well, his bro be balling too. He just had a little ankle injury, but yeah. No, nah, we got the twin. You know, it's Amin. It's Amin and it's uh, it's Amen. Or Amin, was Amin and uh, I think they like Muslim. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, they've but, uh from the uh. Yeah. Damn, I was just talking to my barber about Florida, this. I'm from Florida, from my understanding, man. I don't know, man. From Florida, Jamaica but or from by way of Jamaica, so their parents was. Yeah. But yeah, them boys was in Florida, but them boys, man, yeah. especially Asar. He ball. Yeah, man. man. I like how he moving out there too. I like that, man. Like, my nigga was there. throwing oops, throwing no looks. I like the what 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 really caught me while I like him though. I like his hustle and his defense though. The nigga was getting steals, blocks. I was like, he he, dog, he out here showing out and right now like. And the thing about it is, man, he going at it. He taking like he going at it like he really like trying to like play like. Like he taking this shit like it's a real fucking game. Like I'm like, bro, yeah. like why is you? I like, don't hurt yourself, bro. Like yeah, you in here like so. trying to dunk on niggas from the motherfucking free throw line down there and shit, bro. Like, like let yeah. it come to you, bro. Doggy was doing too much, but you gotta realize, bro. The niggas is living their dreams. They in a professional team in the summer league. You seeing all these niggas that's drafting, trying to make the team, all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He like, yo, I'm gonna let these niggas know I'm here to stay. You know what I mean? I mean, real talk. And old boy look good too. Brandon Miller, he look good yeah, too from mom, uh, Alabama. Yeah. My mom's talking about him, man. She was all, that's all she's talking about. For the Brandon Hornets. Miller, Brandon Miller. I'm like, okay, mom. You, you know, my mom. My mom ain't loyal, man. I'm telling you. Bro. She ain't loyal to she the soil, loyal to man. The soil, bro. She can give a damn about the Pistons. She like, who? damn. Like, when did you be turn? When did you turn into a Charlotte Hornet damn fan, man? Man. She's like, I like Melo. Him and like, Steph Curry. Yeah, Steph Curry. Warriors. And she loved That's kind of hometown too, cause Draymond from the hometown, man. Shout out Draymond, but uh, yeah, man. Um, but what you think about the San Antonio big man? I was gonna get. I'm, I'm not. I can't say his last name, but I know his first name, Victor. What you think about the young boy? Though you think uh, people not giving him really a chance to shine yet? Cause I heard the that the Spurs pulled him from the uh the rest of the um. Well, they acting like people acting so. like they pulled him because he did like or he wasn't like the first game. Yeah, that shit looked at you know trash. Like that yeah. shit looked real, real tragic, bro. Like it looked like a bad. Like I it think like they be pulled a- him because um, I seen a few people get injured, especially like I say, old boy brother from Houston that got injured. They yeah. pulled him. So it's about but Scoot, why, why Scoot acting, Miller. I mean, Scoot Henderson. Yeah. Why y'all acting surprised though? He, he got pulled. The number one pick, bro. He's highly regarded. Why would why, why would I not pull? Him? No, I understand that. I mean, I'm not gonna get my number one pick injured in no summer league game. I, I let them play like two, three. But if they not gonna wear like the little thing and the thing, if they fuck, fuck that, that shit. shit, bro, them niggas don't care about winning that damn summer league title, bro. Who cares, bro? Dang. Like, bro, this nigga, dog, uh, you serious? Pop no better than that, bro. Like, come on, bro. I mean, the jury's still out, man. He had he had a good game. He had a bad game and a good game. No, he had a um, real good game that second game. He yeah, the like second game he had like 27 12. and 12. He was the only, only player to have a double-double like in the tournament. You know what I'm saying? Which is surprising. But, I mean, I get a bull this respect, man. Bull made it here for a reason, bro. Mm-hmm. Like 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 um, my boy said on first take, my boy Kendrick Perkins, bro. K. Perk. Um, like he said, bro, I just feel like because his trainer was like, he don't really want him to get stronger because his body, the way he play. Yeah. But like Kendrick say, even KD had to put weight on. You got to put some type of weight on your frame. Or And I'm thinking like maybe he's 7'3", he'll grow into his frame. You just don't want to be no frail right. playing with these grown-ass men. Yeah, but at the same time, it worked for KD. That's why I was like, you know, hey. But KD not frail no more, though. KD's still frail, bro. Nah, bro. KD put on muscle. If you go back to KD first three years and go to KD now, he's put on at least 20, 25 pounds, bro. Yes, bro. Look at KD. Bro, when you looked at KD, was bones when he bro, got in the league. That nigga is bones now, nigga. nigga now, no. Nah, he feel, he filled out now. He just look like he, like he definitely bro, he filled six, out. He's six, nine, six, ten or whatever, bro, man. Like... He ain't he ain't pushing no more than probably two ten and he's six ten, bro. If they two nah, ten, nah, 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 nah. But bro, you just said Kevin Durant two ten, bro. Two ten, bro. Man, you dis you a disrespectful bull, like man. Two ten out there, bro. You can blow that nigga. Over, hey, bro, man. man. Hey, I y'all like Drake comment, like subscribe, two, man. If Drake might like two thirty. Two thirty. He looked two thirty though. You gonna tell me so? You what, 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 and he and he six six. 
like six seven, but okay. KD is like K. What, what, what we going we gonna we gonna do it right here, bro. We ain't gonna debate. Man, like my boy Cruz say, me, man, man. Google the best thing made, man. But KD, man, how big is KD, man? He said two ten, bro. Six like six nine. 6'10". He 240, bro. He's 6'10", 240. Whoa, dog, you Man, just... 210, bro. They boost that bro, shit, bro. This is a Wikipedia. They you just... Hey, bro, shit, you just bro. took 30 pounds off that nigga. He's 6'10", bro. bro. If he 210, nigga, Brian got to be... I mean, 240. Brian got to be like 265. Nah, bro, man, you gotta think. It's, it's these niggas bro. not. It's not that. Nah, nah. Nah. All right, all right, man. Nah, I believe nah. so, bro. He's not that, you know. And I think there's a, you know, Wimby. Uh, if that's if that's how I can you know, call him or whatever, man. I think he'll be fine <laughs> at the weight, you know, he's at right now. I just think that he got to get his fill in the league, man. That's where I believe. I think he got to get his fill, bro. You know, like it takes time. Been playing niggas that ain't man. had that level of talent over there. You know what I'm saying? It take time, man. As long as you don't get no Greg Oden type career, bro. You gotta, they gotta put some weight on him, though. You gotta think, even though he's that tall, he's still gonna be playing and guarding small forwards, power forwards, because he's not no, no physical banging type nigga that's gonna post an ass for a rock. But right. that's what hopefully Pavovic. He going to the greatest coach in the game, one of the legends, Greg Pavovic. So Pav gonna, best gonna do what right he do. There, that man. was the best decision for him. And you know what I'm saying? You go into, you know, a story, I mean, a, a franchise with a, you know, great history, yeah. man. Uh, Pop is going to definitely, you know, coach you up. Yeah. You know, and you're going to Texas. So, yeah, boy, tax free. You know, tax free Shit. money over I mean, tax free over there, you know. Get your bag, Shit, man, man, you know. Yeah, you're going to Pop, man. Feed Fuck your a, fan. He could have fucked around and got uh, motherfucking Zion Williamson uh, strength coaching. <laughs> yeah, you know, so. Been in shambles. I ain't even gonna bring up Zion is up. I ain't even gonna bring him up. Bro. I can't talk man. about my man because there's some things I want to say about him, but I'm just gonna let him slide. I feel on like it, he should man. be playing in the summer league right now. Yeah, he, he should, should be, bro. I heard man getting just to get the condition into him, bro. Nah, bro, he shouldn't even be playing. Just let the nigga referee and run up and down the court, bro. <laughs> just let the nigga blow the whistle. <laughs> blow the whistle. We, don't, we don't even want to duck right now, bro. Just run up and down the court, blow the yeah, whistle. And since you're talking about him, though, he was they was asking him on the podcast like. Yo, you know, what you going to do as far as your habits and trying to stay on the court and your diet and stuff. And he was talking about, man, I'm going to do the LeBron James method and doing that. And, and like, and like he, and K-Pers, he was just like, bro, that's all cap, bro. He was like, dude, need a nutritionist, yeah. dietitian, a cook. Dude out there eating fries. Oh, now, gee. everybody can't play like Ray, Ray Allen and, uh, Old boy eat fries uh, before every uh, game. Yeah, like, your Cinco. Yeah, he yeah. can't do that, bro. Especially Zion carrying about 270. Yeah, and the thing about it is he very young and he carrying around his way. So if you carrying around, you, this is the time of your life where you can burn that off real quick. Facts. So as you get older and shit, the shit is not going to be as easy. So I'm like, you know, if you carrying this around like this right now, and you... you I'm you, telling you, bro, when that nigga hit 45, you're going to look like Carl's Winslow. Bro, you know, bro. Ain't fucking around, bro. Like, man, but shout you don't want to be out there bro. looking like Charles Barkley out there. <laughs> no, shout out Charles, man, because yeah. Charles just a big dude, man. I, I, he, I just like he just naturally big in that way, man. Ball, but Zion, man. though, like, supposed to be a person that's athletic, like, in a different way. Like, he's explosive. Man. Charles, ex he, Charles was explosive, bro. But this nigga right here, though, man, is a different pose to be a different man. breed, bro. Zion so, need to go ahead and play tight end for the Chiefs, man. man. That ball up, man. But um, jumping into some other, uh, some other stuff that I have out here, man, um, it was a whole bunch of, you know, just ignorant stuff going on I seen on the internet, man, with the whole blue face. Um, you know, he had the, the strippers over to the crib. I think he was shooting a music video. And, that ain't um, look like no music video, cuz. I think it ended up being a music, a music video, because that's what I seen on Twitter like a little later that day. It was quick, you know what I'm saying? That's why I be like, man, do this shit be planned to like, you know what I'm saying, to just get people talking and shit, because I, that, that scene ended up being like in the video. Them girls that was over there twerking and shit, yeah. that ended up being like a video from my understanding. But uh, Blueface, man, Blueface had went into the, you know, uh, closet, or he had went into the... Uh, the room. Uh, that that pantry that yeah. ain't no food in that motherfucker, bro. Little pantry man was kind of. I was like, bear. bro, he like I'm going to get snacks. I'm like, where man, the snacks, man? This nigga ain't getting man. some beef jerkies, man. Like it looked like he was just looking around for anything that you know what I'm saying he can open himself and you know eat, man. Man, like, I think if there was some bread in there, he put his hand between it and bit it, nigga. Just, he was uh, just looking it around. Ain't look like, right. It ain't look right, bro. Like. 
And then, you know what I'm saying, Blueface comes in, he asks the little dude, hey, man, well, he tells the little dude, hey, man, it's, it's strippers out here, ass, no, nah, that ain't out here, man. What, you know what I'm saying, you don't want to see this? Dude just want to eat beef jerky, bro, and motherfucking play his motherfucking PS, PS5. Yeah. You know, it's all little he man do. was just trying to get something on his stomach, and they had some infamil in there, bro. A nigga like sex. It's like sex, man. You mean you got that old ass infamil? She ain't got no other kids, do she? Man, I just mean that she whore. That's she, nasty, bro. She and that bro. motherfucker holding on to shit, nigga, or something, bro. Little man. Stewie, crazy. Like I know they ain't that ain't Krishan shit, is it, man? You know she ain't got man, she ain't a baby shower. She 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 wild too, though. She wild. Yeah, she wild, bro, man. But I think like they both wild, bro. The whole damn cycle of I mean the whole circle of what they got over there is just wild. You said from the moms, baby moms, to the other baby mom. It's all wild to the mom, to his mom, to 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 Krishan family. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just all just, you know what I'm saying, just theatrics, man. Yeah, it's just like the mom's just cloud chase. I like when he asked the kid that I just like where the fuck that come from? Yeah, like, bro. who the fuck is having a kid? And it, it was a music video. Who got strippers or whatever in the kitchen in right. the living room bouncing ass and want they son in the that's crazy. And the thing about it is, like, I could see if the nigga was like 13, 14. 13, 14. This nigga like six. 13, 14. I'm, I'm, you know, like, come on, man. Yeah, you know, yeah that's, you that's cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying like I ain't pushing them on no woman or nothing like that, but I'm saying like, he can hey, be there. He can be there. You know what I'm saying? He a boy. He my boy yeah. at that. You know what I'm saying? So, and like, and, I, and every other, and every man, just to keep it real, man, they, I mean, I ain't gonna say every man, but the, the straight man, he want, he want his, his son to be straight. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but, of course. Dog, he a kid, bro. Like he yeah, right now ain't man. thinking about nothing. About he is like he looking like he just wanted to play. He want to play, bro. He's That's like, can I go upstairs and play PlayStation? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then as a mom, that look even worse because you ain't saying nothing, nigga. Like, 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 damn, bro. Like, you I shouldn't even had your son in that position. He should have yeah. been upstairs from the jump if y'all knew that was y'all. That's what y'all plans was. I think, man, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when I'm dealing with a female, bro, I got to have a chick that balance me, bro, man, because, like, yeah, one man. of us got to have. I thought that she was the one that can kind of balance because I was like, yo, man, she kind of, like, the little boy is well, you know, spoken and shit. Oh, yeah, You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So, like, I know when I deal with a female, I'll be like, yo, I got to have a chick that if I'm the wild one, she got to be the motherfucker that yeah. will bring it in. If she the wild one, I need to be I, I, I watch how a chick. I, I watch how a chick treat her kids. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I watch how a chick treat their kids, man, because a lot of these chicks' pH balance be off. I'm talking about just, I don't know if this from the hot Cheetos and uh, pickles or cucumbers or something. I don't Back know. In eighth grade or something that threw it off and it's still in their <sighs> system, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know, man, but I, I see the type of Brown females that Blueface like to deal with, though. He like to deal with chicks yeah. he can control, you know what I mean, and make that call. Because the way he be talking to her, I be like, yo, you just look like you happy in the house. Yeah, it does, man. Like and like when she picked him up from the jail, she got a bottle weight for you, the blunt. I was like, that's cool, man. But I just got out of jail, man. Just take me to the crib right now. Give me the blunt, though. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck but, me, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, give me the blunt, whatever, man. But like, don't, don't, don't sit there and just like be like out here just for social media, man. Like it just yeah. be like everybody sitting here trying to find a way to come up. And blue face, you got allegedly some talent there, so you know. And it's crazy, Supposedly, like saying. you say, it's just for clout and social media. Because even if he did do that, why that shit had to go up on your page, nigga? He put it up. Put it up. Like why? You know what I mean, like you knew that would cause an uproar and shit. But it just make you look crazy to ask a six year old yeah. kid that, it's, and it's your kid. It's a lot of clout chasing these days, man. It's just a lot of clout. Just, that's just what it is, man. But. Yeah, man, uh, we got to do better. That's all I'm going to say. We got to do better, man. Lot better, yeah, Blueface a fool. And then I heard him just to say something random, bro. He said he was going to start a record label with all baby mamas, bro. Like, you got to have a baby. <laughs> I said, this nigga's a fool, bro. bro. He classic, bro. Dude, he the modern-day like, Ike Turner, bro. For real, man. Like, he's he's one of a kind, bro. Like, for what? this generation, man. I don't know what's going on with dude, but, hey, teach his own, man. That's all I'm going to say, teach his own, man. Um, one thing I want to jump into real quick, though, man, uh, just a serious note, man. We got some good news. Uh, Jamie Foxx is back. He's back. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's back, bro. Jamie, man. Yeah, yeah, work, yeah. Man. Shout out Jamie, man. He was, They saw him on the boat. Yeah. He was waving like a presidential candidate. You right. know what I mean? Then they seen him at Top Golf. 
You know what I'm saying? He was sliding through top golf, hitting the balls. Yeah. And then they caught him out in public looking like a little Pekingese soldier. I was like, why y'all take that picture, dog? Like, yeah. y'all got my man looking like uh, Cowboy Jenkins out here. I'm it, like, yeah. It, it, was, it was just like, you know, real good to see him, you know what I'm saying? Because we had heard so many different, like, you know, rumors and, um, you know, different stories of, you know, what, what's going on with his help. So just to see him out there, you know, waving and, you know, I think somebody had dropped something on the floor. He helped him out, picked it up. You yeah, know? picked you know? it up, picked her bag up, it gave her a hug. Good, good so he back, we ain't going to say he back to normal, but he back to being out here and doing yeah, what he do. He's back on that. So when y'all see Jamie Foxx out there, man, you know what I'm saying, pray for my man still. Keep him in y'all prayers so he 100% restored, man. Right. And yeah, man, get that man in space and just let him do I, him, I think man. the story will come out, you know what I'm saying, of what was going on, you know, a little later, man. But I think we are, we owe him the respect to at least, you know what I'm saying, let him just, you know, I live think his life, bro. personally if he come back, I think the best thing for him to do, because I heard he's working on like a big documentary right now, but I think the best thing for him to do when he get back 100% is to do a stand-up. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot that. of people, he's he's a, one of the greatest stand-up comics to yeah. do it. And a lot of people forget that because he do so much more. But I feel like if anybody can take that and turn it into laughter and turn it into a good story, I think he should go on and do a stand-up. Do maybe yeah. a two, three night only I stand I, agree. Up. I mean, yeah, I, I agree to that. Like, I think, man, we give a lot of, you know, like I said, we were just talking about Comic View earlier, man. And, like, Jamie don't get his flowers as being a comic, bro, being uh, just an entertainer, bro. Because I would just love to see him just jump on that mug and just go through the whole, do the jokes first, and then jump on that Doing piano. On that piano, bro. Yeah. Because that dude just a vibe, bro. He's just a naturally gifted person, bro. Yeah, and, and, it, and, like, the whole show, like, if y'all ever seen... I might need security, his early, earlier stuff. When dude do his stand-up, he puts on a show. Facts. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to stay there at the end. You're going to stay there to mingle and hear him play the piano and go and do this. And it's going to be like a family reunion. So, you know what I mean? Like, I think that would be a, if a you ain't never very seen, good look. If you ain't never seen I Might Need Security, um, what's the other one out there? The first one and shit. The like, first one? I can't think of that. Foxhole? That one. Yeah, I think Foxhole. Yeah, yeah Foxhole. If you ain't never seen like these comedy stand-ups, I advise you to go out there and go check them out. Like, like dude is a legend. Like, I feel like he should be doing uh, at least like, you know, what Kevin Hart is doing with the, you know, with his, you know, stand-ups and shit like that. Yeah. Kevin ain't dropped one in a while. I but, think he working on one, though. Okay. Definitely working on one. Yeah, because it's like, I feel like People, they, they, we give Jamie Foxx his flowers for, you know, Buffy being an actor. We give it for him being a singer. But people, like, forget that Jamie Foxx is one of the funniest people ever, bro. Like, one of the funniest stand-up comedians I've seen ever, bro, in my opinion, yeah. man. He's in my top I mean, five. I mean, people in the industry, though. Oh, the industry, say that, yeah. But a lot of the newer fans just see the movies and all that. And with this podcast, too, man. That Foxhole, bro, was crazy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Foxhole was crazy, yeah. Definitely started the... <laughs> um, Corey I ain't Holcomb's. gonna say started, but one of the earlier people to put people on podcasts. Yeah, you know? like he had Corey Holcomb on the show back then. Kevin Hart was on the show back then. Claudia Joy was on the show back yeah. then. Um, There's uh, a lot more. What's long girl? Say. What's the old girl name, man? That uh, they got canceled for a quick second, man. Uh, what's her name, man? Uh, the uh, black the black girl, man. I can't think of her name. That was she. Uh, damn, girl. Tangerine. No, from Girls Trip. Can't think of her name damn. right now. Uh, damn, what is her name, man? Uh, they was coming at her, man, because they was like, yo, she don't get, like, she shouldn't be uh, getting, she shouldn't be, like, she a female comedian, but it's like, she shouldn't be getting, like, you know, these arenas that she Oh, you talking about girls you today date Common? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I can't think of her She was God on her early, name, you know bro. what I'm saying? Damn, damn, I can't think of her name right now. She, you know, I mean, y'all gonna tell us in the comments, man. Yeah, but, man, let us know, yeah, man. man. And if you ain't already, man, like, now. comment, subscribe as well, man. On the game, man. For real, man. But um, definitely, you know, glad to have Jamie home, man. You know, definitely, you know, the prayers is working, man. That's what I tell y'all, man, every day, man. So the prayer warriors came through, they man, because they was, they was, boy, people that like Jamie Foxx was they damn daddy. I'm like, God damn. Yeah, I man. just didn't like the way they was just trying to phase them out and, all the bullshit, man. But yeah, it was you know, been a while for a cool. Like, it was, get better, it was, Jamie, man. I know you're gonna it come. It was going back on for a, a minute, man. I ain't like I forgot. I had lost track of uh, how long that was going on, man. Because he was down for a second. But it was like a month, month and some change. I thought it was longer. Than Maybe that. longer. Yeah. 
But, uh, you know, glad to have Jamie home, man. Um, just wanted to jump into something else, man. Um, did you see that they, uh, like, they put up the, you know, article about uh, – the weekend, you know, he surpassed Michael Jackson's, you know, uh, attendance record or yeah, ticket I heard sale that record bullshit, for man. that for his tour. Yeah, I heard it. All right, I man. didn't like it, but yeah. I heard it. You know what I mean? What, what the hell, Meek talking about, man? Man, did you see Meek, bro? <sighs> man, I, you know what, Meek, man, Meek Mill is man, so that's my guy too, man. Meek, bro, what you doing, Meek? Like, I fuck on, with Meek music, man, but dog, like you. You ain't always knew you was, he was, they weekend was going to be bigger than no damn Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. They still not bigger than Michael Jackson. Like, bro, just because like, they sold whatever he bro. did. Lock, no, he's not a bigger artist than, like, me. Shut up. Yeah, Shut up, me. Yeah, that shit don't make no damn sense. Bro. God damn it, William. Like, and, 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 like me, we fuck with you, bro, but come on, bro. You got We got to call a motherfucking a spade a spade, bro. Like, that shit retarded right there, bro. Never like, heard no shit like that in my life. We talking bro. about Michael Jackson, bro. Michael Jackson, bro. Uh, like, compared we, to the weekend. Like we we can, like we we can't compare Rihanna to Michael Jackson, bro. And she wanted to big. We can't keep, compare Beyonce to Michael Jackson, bro. We we about to compare the weekend. Bro, you got, can't even compare weekend to Prince. Like, come on, you know bro. Like, what we talking about, bro? They we talking gotta, about ticket sales. First of all, bro, Michael, bro, did this in the eighties, and you know that in nineties. He did this in the eighties, bro. It was no, it wasn't no social media. It wasn't no, it wasn't it barely. Ben, they told me, but well, I heard on the, uh, on the Jamie Foxx show, uh, podcast shit. He said that you had to motherfucking like send off your thing to get tickets and shit. Yeah, you got to be chosen to buy the tickets. Yeah, to buy the tickets, bro. That's how like you had to go like out and purchase the records. You know what I'm saying? It might have came with like a thing in the back of the record where you can call and be a part of the fan club. That type of shit you had to do to get the tickets, yeah. bro. Like that's my. It's just no comparison, bro. Like. Uh, but that nigga didn't even say that, bro. That just that just made that don't sit right with my soul, man. I'm gonna have to stop listening to Meek for at least a month now, just bro. Just a month, bro. You know, yeah, just just a month, month, man. I ain't just gonna do you like that, though. But don't be out yeah, here saying yeah. that goofy stuff, man. And I be like, yo, I I ain't got no problem with the weekend, you know what I'm saying? But I be like, dude, when they ask, when they say these things, I'm like, I, it's it's cool to be, you know what I'm saying? You know, happy for your accomplishments, you know what I'm saying? Because this is your accomplishment. Yeah, shout out the weekend, but, though. I mean, that's a that's that's a hell of a thing to do. But I feel like even if somebody like say if I was the weekend, I, you know what I'm saying? If I was the weekend and they came to me and said, yo, man, yo, you surpassed this and that, I just wonder if he like be feeling like or 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 or, th or puts that out there like yeah I did that or I'm bigger than Mike like I I, I want to hear him say like yo and his like yo don't 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 y'all believe that shit I'm not bigger than Mike because he I want to be bigger than Mike you know who don't want to be big but yeah he don't on. even want to say he don't like, say you know nah, nah. that shit yeah that shit make my skin crawl yeah bro that shit, Meek bro. that's crazy coming from you bro and then on top of that you know they on his ass too because the uh, uh the free Tory lanes, which I understood because what's wrong with that? I mean, you know, I, you know, motherfuckers don't get backlash anytime you say free Tory lanes for some reason. I don't know, man. Yeah, they crazy. They got man. mad records together, so it's kind of like, why wouldn't he say motherfucking Liddy again? One of his biggest records. So why would he not say free him and like that's his man? Like, yeah, like, he was right. defending that, talking about you know what I'm saying motherfuckers can't tell him who he fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Which I feel him on that, but. I don't know, man. The way me be doing should be in a corny way sometimes. You know, it's just the way he do shit sometimes, man. Yeah, man. And we Meek's need to get solid. the meat back with the braids that yeah, was dirty to, or something. To, we need the meat to get the braids and then brush them shits. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we need that meat, Brush bro. that. We need that meat meal. Yeah, That's bro. dreaming nightmares. We need that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, we need Flamers meat meal, bro. Flamers. I ain't ready for Flamers, Trey bro. Pound. Man, we need that one, then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Grimy, yeah. thirsty, you heard me. We need that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, me, man. You know, um, before we, uh, you know what I'm saying, because I think we're getting close to an hour, man, but uh, I wanted to just jump into this whole thing with, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, with the Matthew Knowles, the little... Yeah, I had read son. something about it. I forgot about that shit. I didn't. I was like, damn, man. I was uh, surprised the kid was so old. I was like, damn, bro, it's been that long. I said, damn, niggas having babies, bro. And the bad thing about it is, so tell me what it's about, man, so that you know the people out here can know so, what we're talking about. Um, you know, you know, I ain't gonna say allegedly, man, but uh, he <laughs> he had a kid, you know what I'm saying? You know, back I don't know how old the boy is now, man, but he had a kid, you know what I'm saying, behind his wife's back, you know, which is uh, out of wedlock. Yeah, out of wedlock behind his wife's back, man. You know, this is Beyonce mom, Tina knows, and you know that 
broke up their marriage. You know, it definitely, I guess, you know, caused, I know it probably did cause a wedge between him and his daughter relationships. I'm pretty sure that did. Yeah, Solange, you know. And they tight with their mom. And Beyonce. You know, they love their daddy, you know what I'm saying? Because they daddy, you know what I'm saying? They daddy's did. girls, man. He, they put him in the business. He put him in the business. Yeah. You know facts. what I'm saying? It was him that was training them up and all that. But, you know, he cheated on their mom. You know? Yeah. So. And the bad thing about it is that the girl he cheated on, he moved her down the street. They stay like, down the street from, like, uh, from uh, J.M. Yes. Yes. He moved them in the neighborhood, bro. They that not that far. That's why it's like that nigga wildin', bro. He wow, bro. He on some Peter Gunn shit. But the thing about <laughs> it though, like how how the son supposed to feel when Beyonce is your your real sister and motherfuckers don't you know what I'm saying? Don't even acknowledge you. I mean, any nigga gonna feel a certain way, but at, at the same time though. Yeah, he a kid, but the, but he just like you he gotta a kid, like, bro. He ain't got nothing to do with that. That's I feel like that's I a, couldn't do that that me because one, that's your brother. He came from your father. May right. it be out of wedlock. That boy ain't got nothing to do with it. He, it's the truth. It's the truth. You know you what I'm saying? Gotta, you so you can't that. hold a kid responsible. You know what I'm saying? You at least reach. My out My thing to would him. be like yo, because like in her position though, being Beyonce though, you got to kind of like you know what I'm saying, fill that out though, because. The mother be, be trying to be, you know what I'm saying, messy. She might be trying to, you know what I'm saying, like, because really, she only probably slept, she only slept with probably, you know, Matthew because it's Beyonce daddy. You know what I'm saying? So she already was kind of probably, a, you know, I'm sure she was a fan of Beyonce. That's the only reason that she was messing with this man, I'm thinking. And then on so, top of that, they, they were saying, like, the, the, the kid was getting bullied at school because motherfucker was like, you lying about Beyonce and shit. And they bullied him on top of that. So it's kind of like, damn, nigga. And then the mama, like I said, like, I mean, it's it's a, it's a, it's a spooky, you know, hour type of situation. Because it's like, you got the mama, you know, she, she knew she was dealing with a married nigga. And then you got, you know, Matthew, which we can't, you know, we can't, Matthew, he hold all the, I ain't going to say all the responsibility, but damn near like 95% of that shit. Papa Bass said, man, leave you know me saying? alone. And the little boy, he don't hold none of this shit, but I know, you know, the, you know, Beyonce probably, like I said, man, she probably like, man, this is like something for the media. This is something that this nigga mama is trying to get, you know. Yeah, man. but you got to work on that, B. You got to. Yeah. You know I think I don't saying? think she got to rework. She don't even have that, no brothers. Know? That's the bad thing about it. That's like your little brother. You don't have no, it's yeah. a, just you and your sister. I just think that if he want to, you know, meet you, if he want to do that, I don't think it's no harm in that because at the end of the day, you can't, we can't choose our parents. You know what I'm saying? We can't choose our parents. You know, we can't. Like, we only got one mama, we only got one daddy. Your daddy decided to go out and do some shit and he brought another child in. So, real that's talk, your bro. brother. That's Nick, your brother. Real talk, though. You know? Just just looking it into it, niggas do that every day, B. Niggas do it every day. Real talk. You know I, can, I can just think in my head of how many niggas I know did that. Like, oh, nigga, they got a side baby, nigga. Oh, we don't break. You know what I mean? Yeah. D-Wade just did it. D-Wade. Now, he didn't just do it, but he had a side baby on Gab Union. I ain't even know that, bro. When this, when this shit happened? Bro, you don't know about D-Wade's side baby? He claimed yeah, it. I be thinking that. D-Wade damn near. Nah. Right, we ain't gonna talk about that, he, but he, no, just real talk, yeah. just to let you know, D-Wade has a side child, bro. Damn. Wild in the relationship, man. Yes. Well, all the shit that be going on, I be like, damn, D-Wade ain't, ain't, ain't thinking about no damn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, They'll be man. having all the babies out here, man. But he had a... When did this happen? It was... We going all see. off the topic, but damn, when did this happen, though? Let me see, man. We going to go. So, D-Wade, let's see, man. Let's see, man, because it, it was recent, too, man. D-Wade. So, you had a side, baby, bro. This, this was 2021, bro. Yep. This entertainment weekly right hey, here. Hey yo, if y'all, hey, if y'all, if y'all watching this, man, make sure you tap in the chat if you did know this shit, because I never knew that D Wade had a baby outside of the baby he got. I mean, the kids he has with uh, yeah, man. Gab and the ones that he got with his with his ex wife. Yeah, man. I ain't nigga. D Wade cheated on Gab, bro. Yeah, man. Had a side Damn. baby. Damn. If, yeah. Gab, if Gabrielle Union can't hold he her said nigga, that. nigga, this is what it say, man. Union began dating Wade in 08. D. Wade fathered his seven-year-old son, Xavier, in 2013 when he and Gabe was on a break. On a break. Nah, bro. Because she, she was tight she about that Gabe. shit. Gab, nigga? Gabrielle Union, yeah, yeah. But that's who you said 2021, nigga. No, this 2013. Oh, They've been dating since 2010. 
but he say they were on a break. Did they have kids already though? No. Well, they went out. That, out, that might be. Yeah. They just had that. They, only that, think they, that had, uh, oh, they had. They weren't even married then at that time, probably. Was they it? may have been. Yeah, I think they because he said they was on a break. Yeah, man. That's crazy, D Way boy. Keep your head up, boy. But anyway, yeah. but you know, I don't go too far, man. But like back to Beyonce, man. I think that you know it, it's no harm, and you know at least yeah. meeting him. I don't think you got to like start like you know. You know, giving them, you know, taking care of them or taking care of, I mean, you, you shouldn't have to, but yeah. and I don't think you got to go that route with it, but that's a child. Your daddy made a mistake. We only, we can't pick our parents, man. You know, you only get, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't gonna hold it, you ain't gonna hold it, you know what I'm saying? Your daddy ain't, you know what I'm saying, that fought for this forever, are you? Or, or maybe you are, but you definitely can't hold this child like that, I feel, you know what I'm saying? But Look, man, life happens sometimes. Like I said, it's unfortunate, but you know what I'm saying? Like I said, that is your brother. I mean, that's your only brother. Yeah, yeah, so man. let them meet. Let them meet the kids, man. Let them say hi. Yeah, let them meet the twins and stuff, yeah. man. But no, uh, Blue Ivy probably say, "Get the fuck away from me, nigga." <laughs> I, ain't I think that you shit. like Blue, like Blue Ivy age, but yeah, Blue Ivy, yeah, she grown out here, yeah, man. man. Blue Ivy uncle, <laughs> crazy man. But uh, another thing I want to jump into, man. Uh, before we get out of here, I know we yeah, we definitely approaching the eye now, but uh, this whole thing with. Um, Usher, bro, like, at first with the whole Kiki, you know what I'm saying? The whole Kiki shit, man. They thought it was a one-time thing, huh? Yeah, with the first Kiki Palmer shit, bro, I was like, yeah, it's just, you know. I, I, I mean, we knew he had been doing the shit like this, but he's like, this nigga's only picking out chicks that got niggas. Duh, Usher been doing this shit for years, though. He but why always he picking did. out chicks that got niggas, though? He ain't picking no single chicks out the crowd, bro. <laughs> that nigga's picking out, like, that nigga trying to fuck up Happy Homes, I think. Bro. Yeah, he tried to fuck with Kyle Kuzma, girl, the little model that got the, uh, yeah, yeah she, old girl. She was like, hell no. Nah. that nigga lap, bro. Like, <laughs> That's how your girl wants to do it. That's hell no. Nah. Sit your ass down on your yeah, man lap. Yeah, man, like. That's how you do that shit, though. Yeah. And Usher was like, hey, yeah, man. And yeah, he always man. trying to get him, man, that the nigga always is doing it to Superstar. I be like, you a slick motherfucker, bro, yeah, going into bro. Superstar. Know them hoes love that shit, bro. Bro, man. Like, I mean, I'm going to keep it real with you. Like, I don't even got no problem with really singing a Superstar to, to, you know what I'm saying? If, if you I got a girl. saying Superstar to your girl? I, like, if, I, if I got a girl, bro. I let that nigga sing Superstar, bro, because that's what the song talk about in there, man. It's really talking about so all So you going like to let that. him hold your girl. Not hold my girl. Like, slow dance and sing it to her in her not, face. Not hold my girl. Because when he but, say he need these chicks, he be holding them hands. Nigga, yeah. Nah, let your girl get saying all that. Too. I'm saying, like, I'll let him sing it. Now, one thing I ain't gonna let that nigga sing, though, if he going to love you gently, you know what I mean? That nigga boxing in that motherfucker, bro. Man, he gonna have your girl in the yeah. corner singing seduction. He, 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 he jump into that love you gently and shit like that, nigga. Man, that nigga had to box, bro, man. I know how that go. Yeah, man. Yeah, but the superstar, man, like, yeah, man, let that nigga do that, you know? He say that, man. Your girl gonna get flew out. There <laughs> you go, nigga. You gonna see that flew yeah, out first she class. She flew out, bro. She was never mine anyway, man. But, like, I don't lost my chick to an R&B nigga. For real, man. But I'd be like, yo, but Usher, nigga, you you, you trying to fuck up Happy Home. Because that nigga, he, that nigga see you with your nigga or he didn't know that you got a motherfucking relationship. That nigga Usher be like, that, that <coughs> one right there. Like, I'm going to this it one. It's right like he be doing man. it purposely, too. He be, this one for you, fuck you, these happy homes, my number man. one. I'd be like, nigga, that ain't your number one, nigga. Go over to that side of the crowd, Stop nigga. You over here with all the celebrity chicks and they nigga just, man. In a minute, that nigga gonna put that little tour package in there or that little package in there or meet and greet package where you can come back there and he can take them Chris Brown pictures with you and shit. <laughs> that's them. That's the one G meet and greet. Man, like come Usher on, man. Really, really on slime time. But nah, bro, man. you better than me, man. I don't want us, bro. Look, bro, I love Usher songs, bro, but I don't want that nigga singing. Talking, yeah. I don't even want that nigga walking by my girl, man. Cause the nigga or that nigga, so he's too of a he too much of an easy going. Hey, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, you look good, nice hat. You know what I'm saying? All, when I was coming up, bro, my cousins, man, my you know what I'm saying, my sisters, you know what I'm saying, down south, but like, like all like all I knew about was uh them putting them little yo, what's the shit called, Word Up magazine. Yeah, they used to have posters, big yeah. ass uh, posters. That nigga was motherfucking plastered all over the. With nigga. that, with that U chain, <laughs> nigga, he was swinging around his neck. Girls going crazy. So like, I know how it is, uh, bro. Like how these females is like standing out out here and shit, bro. You ain't got no chance, man, with this shit, bro. Like, yeah. 
It's L's all across there. Y'all man. stop going to them Usher shows if y'all love y'all girls, bro. Y'all, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, man. Take, don't let her get backstage, cause bro. Usher. Yeah, you know I mean. Take my girl to a Lil John concert. Fuck all that, man. Look, man. Look at Lil John like that, motherfucker. Yeah, man, man. But uh, before we jump out of here, man, uh, did you keep? I'll be, yeah, I got to jump. So, did you see this shit with Boosie, bro? I, don't, I know we've been talking about Boosie like every week. But yeah, yeah man, he stay in the news, man. But at least it ain't about no. Crazy shit this time, but hey, Boosie on them boys bumpers over there yeah, at Empire man. Records, bro. I think bro did like bro Boosie, bro. I think you need to get a lawyer on that shit, bro, because like that motherfuckers is not gonna pay them. Bro, people, bro it say bro, supposedly it say that the niggas at Empire Records signed that nigga signature, bro. Well, and he, he said like, that his brother. Stopped, yeah, you know, but still though, you can't, nigga, you can't force nobody's signature on no contract. Well, you can, but you and can. then supposedly Maybe. Young Blue was that, so it's so Young Blue was there, so it's kind of like. Damn, bro, y'all niggas really signed that shit up for that nigga, bro? And y'all know y'all was in the wrong, bro? It's, yeah, that's a wild one. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They need to, I'm, they need I'm, to speak. They need to speak. His brother need to speak on this shit. And, uh, I don't young think Blue he won't fuck with that nigga at all no more, bro. Blue need to speak on that shit because, like I said, if y'all... I feel like it's, it's always, you know, three sides to the story. You know, his side, they side, and the truth. So the best way to get to the bottom of it, man, y'all gotta stop that. If Boosie, if Boosie line... Tell, I, tell us that he lied. I don't think but, he lied, though, bro. I mean, because as far as I knew, he was signed to Boosie. No, we and know I, and I'm I don't, talking about I, the forging. Yeah, the forging. Nah, that's a whole other thing. But as far as the signing to Boosie, my thing is the nigga ain't got a, said he ain't got a crumb off of it. Yeah, that's kind of wild because Blue had some some rangers out oh, here. Oh, he, he has rang. some big records. They was ranging out here all summer long last year. Still ranging out records and shit. The one he dropped, the... Uh, uh, that's the shit they say time he'll that oh, one yeah, right there. Yeah, that was a monster. Drake on that shit. That shit was a monster, bro. Yeah. I know the motherfucking publishing check on that, man. It was crazy. And that nigga said, I don't get a cut. You know what I'm saying? So I be a little mad too. I ain't gonna be, man. But you gotta stay on top of a business and stand on business. Facts. You know, that's one thing, man. Uh shout out to Boosie, man. The only reason I brought it up, man, is because I do family business. So, yeah. you know, work that out, man, if y'all can. I know he was talking about, man, this shit is drawing a wedge between his mama, you know what I'm saying, and his brother. You know, man, money, man, you know, I can't tell nobody how to speak on how money, you know, but definitely money will break up certain relationships, man. Facts. But don't let that shit do that shit, though. Don't let it do that shit. And if it is motherfucking some shit like that going on, man, you know, I'm, I'm I'm advising to the OG, man. Let that shit, man, be off the internet, man. Work that out, man, a different way, bro. Fuck. Try to keep them people out of there, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But um, before we get out of well, yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, man. Shit, because I was, you know, uh, we over an hour right now, man. Yeah, buddy. So make sure that first of all, in. tap in, hit that like. Comment, subscribe, hit that bell, yeah. man. I gotta jump into something later on tonight, man. That's why we uh, we was gonna go a little longer, man. But I gotta jump into something tonight, man. Uh, got some other things that we working on right now, man. As I said, man, we going to episode twenty, man. It's yeah, boy. Uh, you know, we gonna do some. Uh, we gonna pop a bottle, man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't had. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. We gonna we gonna pop some champagne, man. And I'm not even no champagne type nigga. But I, I pop a little bottle with you, man. I'm not a, little, a big, big drinker or anything yeah. like that, man. But you know what I'm saying? I'm more of, you know what I'm saying? The, you know, the tree. Somebody said a nigga has some MD 2020. Nah, 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 nah. Peach. Man. I might have to go ahead and <laughs> pop the bottle. Uh, you know, what my nigga Pac Man say, man? I want the little bottle, dude. Say, I want the big one, bro. Like, you need a big one, man. Yeah, man. The but, biggest, um, man. But yeah, man. Episode 20 coming next week. This man. is episode 19, man. Make sure y'all, man, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button on there. Um, make sure you go on to the, you know, IG, man. Y'all lock in, man. Comment on there, man. Let me know how y'all feel. Yeah, um, man. Definitely let a nigga know how to feel. It's uh, 3 a.m. on Whittier 1 on IG, man. Uh, yeah, man. Email, as I said before, man. 
You could let them know about that, about the, uh, you know, sending your merch and everything. Yeah, man. Send that merch out. Same thing. 3 a.m. on Whittier. If y'all know how to spell Whittier, that's W-H-I-T-T-I-E-R, man. Send in the merch, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you got music, send that in, too. Music. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my bad. I'm on my Memphis stuff right now, man. man shout out my boy PZ. Though, man. Most importantly, man, shout out our producer, Mar, man. We got to yes. start giving my man some shout up in here. Make sure y'all go cop some black artists and water, man. I keep telling check y'all, it out, man. Black check that own, out, man. Check it out. Black O on Instagram, Black Artists and Water. And y'all know what it is, your boy rapping ass Wills, man, um, a.k.a. Mr. Pop Out, what you went to, a.k.a. the coaches in here, man. If y'all catch me, gaming, GT Gaming 989, man. Like, comment, yeah, subscribe man. on Make that, sure too. y'all like, comment, subscribe on there, man, too, as well, man. Uh, make sure you follow me everywhere, man. Coach JR on all social media platforms, man. But then most of all, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe on here, man. 3 a.m. on Whittier, man. Until next time, this is episode 19. Gang, man. How's your boy? Yeah.